No more talking about it When we ignite We are stars In a darkened sky When you Hi, Sagis. Oh, Sagis, because the mic is far. Okay, let me move this here. Hi, Sagis. This is your Tarot After Dark. Give me one second. There. Much better. Welcome to Tarot After Dark. This is your love reading. We're focusing on love. Okay. Um, but before we start, please check the website at eatreadlove.me. I added a um, special collection for people who are interested in their own gemstone. We created it with per zodiac now. So you don't get lost. You know, some people are clueless, you know, what good crystal for their zodiac and stuff. So you can now shop by zodiac. So I'll put it in the comments. Um, so you guys can just go there um, and, you know, just go in the comments. We'll pin it in the comments, not in the description box, okay? So let's begin here. Oh, and of course, you guys know, right? If you know a Tupperware, then of course, there's Glamour Box, right? So make sure you check the Glamour Crystal Box. Fourth collection now, dropping every week. So make sure you start collecting. Okay, here we go. Let's see for the sand. And if you um if you follow me on Instagram, I do live reading on Instagram. So check that out. We uploaded today. Is that upload? Yeah, well, yeah. But it's a reading. I did a reading there. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Hmm. Um Prince of Wands. Princess of Wands, sorry. This, this one never really amazes me because it's the card of um, getting to know someone but in a casual way. Okay. If you see that. You see. It's more of um, flirting and just... Is it going with the flow? You know, very smooth um, connection. Um, there are no bumps, you know. But it's not really going in a certain direction, so like basically a waste of time if you're a person who's looking for something serious. It feels though that you're trying to test this person if they're interested to you and then where it can go. Does it make sense? So for you, it's like, all right, well, if it's casual, then it's casual. Then afterwards, then we'll see. So you're testing the waters with this person. We also don't flip the stories here. So um, you have, you know, it's like either you resonate or just look for another reading. Mm. Ten of Cups. Okay. So you're talking to this person and you're falling, you know, for them for sure with the ten of cups and you see yourself you know for long term with them happy family you're looking at uh, this person as someone who will be the bearer of your kids mm -hmm. that's a ten of cups are you madly in love i don't think so but you're definitely head over heels knees and toes knees and toes now you're very passionate, you know, towards this person. I feel like they feel the same, 
but both of you are trying to test each other. So, what do you call this? Um, both of you are either too shy to admit these feelings for each other. Mm -hmm. And both of you are like, eh, I'm not sure. You know, they're talking to me, yes. But, you know, it's like you want, you want something more of a proof. Mm hmm Nine of Cups. So, this person is very happy. Oh, wow. Look, that was the omen. So, uh, it was my app for a line. Um, this person is very, very happy that you are that person to them. Like, they never thought that they could meet someone like you. Someone like you. Yeah. Because for them, it's like, Finally, someone that I can love and I can be with. Nine of Cups and the Ten of Cups. Mm -hmm. It's very interesting because it feels like you guys met at the same, mo you know, at the perfect time, at the perfect moment where the two of you are looking for love. Okay. So now, you know, things are developing from just talking to someone. Now you guys are getting to the next level. Mm hmm. You have the Knight of Pentacles. Um, let me see here. You do take caution every time you see this person. It feels like you are hesitant, nervous. You don't fully trust them. Um, and that's why you keep your distance with the Princess of Wands. You're trying to look at them where is it really true like this person loves me, that they want to be with me, that they see me for long term. You're trying to see how real is this because sometimes it's just too good to be true. Mm -hmm. mm. Too good to be true and then you get the... Ace of Swords. Must be true then. But I feel like that's you trying to know the truth. What is their intention to you? Because they can't just be this wonderful person. Mm -hmm. You want to know everything about them. What makes them happy. You know, it's like... What are their goals? Because the Nine of Cups is dreams, getting their dreams. And one of those questions that you have is, you know, is being in a relationship is something that you, you know, that this person desire. Because mm, Nine of Cups is single, it's a bachelor. Mm -hmm. Now, the Ace of Swords looks like a clear, honest communication that you're bringing towards them. It's you who's going to talk to this person, not them. Because they're very open to talk. Nine of Cups, Ace of Swords. They're very open. They're very open. You can ask them anything. This person, this is what, you're, what this person is saying. But that can also be the one triggering your, um, you know, issues with regards to trust. Six of Swords. You see that? Six of Swords. Princess of Wands. Let me see. It feels like this person has let you down before. And that's why you're trying to see if they can be trusted again. Because you were saddened by them before. Um... I feel like they just either vanish or you guys had a breakup 
and then they come to you like nothing has uh, happened and you haven't really uh, forgotten about that mm -hmm. you haven't you haven't Under the Ten of Cups is a star card. Excuse me. Only human. Humans yawn. Yeah. Mm. So if you're not human, then you don't yawn. Yeah. Mm. Ten of Cups to the star card. Um, it feels that you want to reconcile. You want to heal the situation. You've thought about this very, very, you know, like a lot of times already. You even tried to ignore ignore this person before or ignore their action. When you were trying to ignore them, that's when you realize that this is the person that you really do love. Ten of Cups and the Star card. Mm. So you can't deny that your feelings here, um, you know, it's like, you can't deny this right now. Like, you really, really uh, have strong feelings for them. Justice card with the Nine of Cups. This person is... I said, sorry, um, there was just a gap between the reading when I put the Justice card... And then I already pick up um, the Five of Pentacles also because the audio went out. So I, I would continue justice and then the Five of Pentacles has been drawn already. Okay. So Nine of Cups and the Justice card. Um, this person was, is saying that they just want to make things right. Okay. Um... And it really feels like, okay, this is something that um, you need to weigh out also. So you're not just going to give them uh, the benefit of the doubt. Because when I, would, I, I shuffled, okay, in the middle of the read, the audio was out. I got this one, Five of Pentacles, Under the Knight of Pentacles. They have a track record of... Um, ghosting not talking to you so when they need you they're there and then they bounce okay and then that's where you just want the truth you just want the part where I need to know if you're trying to win me again is it for good is this you know do you want us to be together mm-hmm and that's why you're even trying to ignore them. Mm -hmm. You're not looking at them. And that's why you're treating them also just being casual. Because you know that they never really um, stay. And it upsets you because, I mean, you know, you feel like this person is your destiny. You feel like, you know, this is the one. But this is the one that keeps leaving. Hmm. Let's see. Get the Knight of Cups. I feel that you will still talk to them, but again, you're just exploring. Um, exploring. Oh, so many distraction for this late night already. Um... You're still, uh, how to say this, um, you're still going to entertain them, but casually. You're not going to be thinking that, oh, this person is the one. Even though you feel it, you're going to deny it from yourself. Mm -hmm. You have the emperor. Now that's not you. That's them. 
and you're you know you're not happy because they're not that emotionally involved and expressive so when they want to just keep themselves to themselves like they shut down because the emperor is very you know has that energy like well i'll talk to you when i want to um and this is the part where it's like okay well don't come to me hot you know and then treat me cold mm -hmm, because i'm all hot because mm, it's a deity the emperor and that's why you don't want to get involved with them much because that's how they treat people or how they treat you and the star card is two of wands you're resisting um them coming to you because you know it does take a lot for you to heal you know the star card right there so don't come to me you know just saying that you're back and everything is going to be easy because they always manage to just uh, i feel like hurt you or you feel like mistreated even mm. let's see there the star card we got the hangman okay so everything right now between the two of you is up in the air no break up no we're together um now is the part of you guys are on limbo um it doesn't look like you are gonna just welcome this person back in it feels like i need some time to think you know because being stuck with this person you know you had to compromise a lot of things and then now you're just slowly realizing your value and that's that's you know that's something when you start saying i know myself i've healed you know and you value yourself mm. and the five of pentacles is the three of cups so definitely trying to get back with you um i feel like to talk to you mm -hmm. trying to make everything like oh easy mm -hmm. underneath the knight of cups is the hermit yeah that's them ghosting mm -hmm. so you understand that this person comes to you when they want to feel good when they want to feel comforted and uh how to say this um wanting you know your attention so you know how they work and then right now it's like no um i still want to see you know where this can go so you're not cutting them off completely mm -mm. Like you're going to entertain a conversation, but then you just have to weigh things down. And if they're going to give you what you want from them, because this is your ideal partner. It's your emperor, you know, for you, this is your emperor. Okay, so you got Aries and Scorpio, you got Pisces, you got Virgo, Libra, you got Aqua, you got Taurus, you got Pisces. We'll see in the extended how this pans out, where you're still resisting uh-huh to you know to be with this person to allow them in your life because they have a track record of just ghosting you and not treating you warm enough okay everything is going to be down there in the description box that also um at the comments i'm going to put there the um zodiac um you know how you can shop for your gemstones per zodiac um it's right there so those are the stuff that is available for pre-order and also the ones we added um four or five more kinds before we start shipping out so check those out and i will see you on the other side have a wonderful wonderful night um sage bye one of the best features of having a line 27 in your phone is the transit you can see on your lower right corner, you can click it and it will tell you everything about how the current transit movements of the planets based on your own chart. The way that it works is once you have put your time and place of birth, it will give you this horoscope. As you can see here, it is projecting on June 21st, the solar eclipse. If you click that, it will give you 
all the information about how the eclipse is going to be affecting you. You can see here in this yellow highlight how it will manifest in your life. And to add a bonus to this, you can also see it for other zodiacs. If you have an Aries, if you have a Taurus, it can show you every little thing about that zodiac. A Gemini, a Cancer, all to the 12 zodiacs. You can also share this as there is a share button. You can share it to your friends, family, or your loved ones. And that is your transit. 